Hi, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Ashley and I'm a full-time reseller. I go to the Goodwill Bins, which is a place where you pay by the pound to find items, mostly clothing, to flip online for a profit. I sell on Poshmark and eBay and Mercari. I also list my vintage items on Depop. The other day I went to the Goodwill Bins with my friend Cassie from Naughty Thrift Finds on Instagram. My neighbors upstairs were just jamming music and it sounds like they're running their vacuum right now. So if you guys can hear that, I apologize. But the other day I went to the Goodwill Bins. I got about 77 items and I paid only $1.29 per item. I got a handful of personal items for either myself or my kids or my boyfriend. But most of the items I found were to resell online. And that's what I'm going to be showing you guys today. Also, at the end of this video, I'm going to be opening a mystery vintage kids box that one of my nice viewers sent me. I just got it today. I'm so excited to dig into it. Today is the day after Christmas, but a nice viewer of mine, Sherry, her Instagram handle is Mimi's Vintage Closet. She actually in the past has bought a couple vintage kids pieces from me out of my stores on Poshmark both times on Poshmark, if I believe. And she messaged me on Instagram and was like, hey, would it be okay if I sent you some vintage kids pieces for your two kids? So I have a six-year-old and a two-year-old. Six-year-old's a girl and the two-year-old's a boy. So she sent me some vintage kids items for them. So I'm really excited to see what she sent me. And like I said, I will open this and dig into that at the end of this video. But first, let's get into what I found at the Goodwill Bins. <music> So I found a lot of great vintage pieces. If you've watched my videos before, you know I love vintage items. I'm really drawn to them. I love giving them new life and reselling them and giving them a new home. So there's a lot of vintage pieces in this haul. Some pieces aren't vintage though. So this first piece is vintage. This is a men's 100% silk. Now actually Cassie found this. Like I said, I went with Cassie the other day. She found this and asked me if I wanted it. I said, absolutely. This is by the brand Robert Stock, men's size large. Like I said, 100% silk, say like suit vest, waistcoat type thing with a tie in the back. And I just love the multicolor detailing on this. Now this piece, if I remember correctly, I will be listing right around $30. I have not photographed any of these items yet, but I plan on doing that tomorrow and I'm going to be starting to list them tomorrow. I believe this video will also be going up tomorrow. So a lot going on. This next piece I probably honestly should have left behind, but it's a great filler piece for me. This is an anthropology brand, Saturday, Sunday, size medium. This is just a basic v-neck pullover hoodie, no pocket, but I love the like burnout, not burnout, but like that heathered type acid detailing. This piece I'm only going to be able to get around 15 to $20 for, which is totally fine because again, I only paid $1.29 per item. This next piece is a Matilda Jane piece. This brand sells kids and women's pieces, but look at this adorable dress. I have been picking up kids pieces more and more to resell. They're super easy to list. You just flat lay them, take a picture of the tags, and usually you don't have to take measurements. So this is like the wonderful parade collection. That is what this dress is from. This is a size four, and I'll be listing that right around $18. So if I get between $15 and $18, I'll be happy. So I got two pairs of American Eagle shorts. Now with American Eagle, I really try to stick with the plus sizes. They really sell better for me. However, you know, American Eagle, the value has definitely gone down. But these are women's size 16. The mom shorts, I got this pair as well as this pair, both in the size 16. And both the mom shorts, each of those I'll be listing right around $22. I used to list my American Eagle shorts around $25, but again, they're not moving as quickly and for as much. So I'll be listing it right around $22. First of all, because we're not in summer, people aren't shopping for shorts as much. And number two, I just want them to move quickly. This next piece is a vintage button up fleece cardigan. I maybe should have left this behind. It has a decent amount of staining on it. Like right there, you can see a stain. There's also some on the bottom there, just kind of all over a lot of staining on this, but this is an all over print lighthouse 
cardigan and I just could not say no to this. The brand is Artisans. Artisans? I don't think there's a, yeah, the size tag has been worn off, but I believe this would be like a women's size large, extra large. I include measurements in all of my listings besides like kids pieces. So a potential buyer can easily listen, look at the photos and see what the measurements are. This next piece was probably one of my favorite finds of the day. This is a vintage satin bomber jacket, but just look at this print. Oh my goodness, jewel toned. And I didn't realize actually until today. So I went to the bins on Friday. Like I said, today's the day after Christmas. So it's Tuesday. So it's been a couple days since I got these items. But when I got home and earlier when I was inventorying these items, I realized that there is a sun print all over these as well. I thought this was so unique. I could not find anything exactly like this listed. There are other pieces by this brand, Clipper Bay. And there are other pieces that are like jewel tone, satin, but nothing exactly like this. So I'm going to be listing this on the higher end, around $75. And we're going to see how it performs. I would love if I at least got $50 for this, but I adored this. This is just an incredible, one of a kind, unique piece. This next piece is a vintage find. I can't remember if Cassie gave me this piece or not. She always gives me vintage pieces when we're together at the bin. She knows I love vintage, but this is a vintage squirt. I did not realize it was a squirt until I got home again, but there are shorts in the back and has this like slit flap tight detailing buckles on the side. The brand is Star CCC. This is a junior size 11, but I will also include the waist measurement in my title. That way that's easier for people. You know, a junior size 11, especially in a vintage piece, that's pretty hard, especially if it's a woman buying this. So this piece I'm gonna be listing for right around $35. This next brand is not a brand that I would typically get, but because I was at the bins and because of the style of this, I picked it up. This is just Japna, which honestly I believe is sold at like TJ Maxx, but this is a floral kimono. I thought this was super adorable. It has like velvet detailing on the flowers. They're all velvet, has tassels at the bottom. Again, kind of that jewel tone with that green blue color there. Super adorable. This is a size large. This piece I'll be listing for right around $22. So this next piece, I actually found three of the exact same piece. One is in a different size and they're all in different colors, but the brand is LAL Live A Little. This is 100% suede. This one's a size extra large. This one's a full zip jacket in red. Now these pieces actually aren't going for a lot of money, right? Between 20 to $25. That's totally fine because again, I got it from the bins. Totally fine with selling pieces for $25 when I only paid $1.29. And because I have four of the same pieces, super easy to list. I literally copied the same title, changed the color, changed the size if I had to. And then of course I'll take the different photos, but makes it super easy. So this I'll be listing for right around $25. This one is red. That one's a size extra large. And then I have like a midnight navy blue. This one is again, a size extra large full zip. This next one is a button up and this one is a size extra large again with this like forest green color, all 100% leather suede, you know? And this last one is probably my favorite because of the color and it's this olive green color. I love the seam detailing and I love the accent thread color on that. This one is a size large. So each of those I will be listing for right at $25. Hopefully they move quickly. They're all great sizes. So four of those equal $100. So these four pieces alone will cover the cost of my entire haul from Friday, which today I'm only showing you about 25 pieces from that day. Like I said, I got 77 pieces. So these four pieces alone will pay for my entire haul. I only paid $99 and some odd cents. So if those all paid up, if those, okay. So those plus another piece will pay for the entire haul. Mind blowing. This next piece is on a vintage or an older champion tag, but then also there is a brand in here that's screen printed on it. It says crowns on it. Also on the back, there is that logo, Crowns, and then on the front, 
there's an embroidered palm tree with a sailboat. Now it took me a minute to figure out exactly what this was because when I first looked up the brand crowns, I really could not find much information on it. But I eventually did. I eventually found that this is Crowns Guam. And I believe I will be listing this right around $25. If you type in Crowns Guam in Google, they have like their own website with their own apparel. So yeah, pretty cool. These next three pieces are kids pieces and I will be listing them all in a lot because they are all the same size. They are different brands, which I have not tried to do yet, but I'm going to try to do it in this haul or with these three pieces though. So they're all a size three T this first piece is by vineyard vines, super adorable embroidery detailing their dress. This one is a floral dress. This is by the brand T again, size three T and T as in T E A. And then this last piece is a long sleeve dress, but it is a lighter knit, this is by the brand Kate Quinn. That tag just looks super nice. And yeah, so I will be lotting the three of these up together, listing them at $20 or best offer, and we will see how that goes. I have lotted up um, kids' pieces in the past, but they've always been the same brand and same size. So we will see how the different brands do. This next piece I was really excited to find. So this brand is Buggle Boy, which I have found one time, but the piece that I found was all stained up and it was a vintage pair of like chino khaki pants. And this brand can perform pretty well. So this is what the tag looks like. Buggle Boy on the back. Again, it says Buggle Boy, which is how I noticed it because I saw this sitting in the bin. But this is a pair of baggy fit corduroy pants. Super Y2K, 90s style, men's size, I think 34 by 32, if I remember correctly. Yes, 34 by 32. So these I will be listing right at $35. I just noticed there is a little hole in the butt. That's unfortunate. So that's going to take some value off of them. So I might list them closer to that $28 mark instead of 35 because of that hole. But I, of course, will note that in my listing. This next piece is a vintage piece. It's by the brand Peter Popovich. I picked this up because of the style and because of this nautical embroidery. There is a nautical zipper there with the anchor. There is beading at the shoulder, shoulders here. And it's more of a bomber style jacket. Full zip. I just thought this was so adorable. There is a little bit of discoloration here at the neckline but i will be listing this piece right around 25 dollars. this brand peter popovich can sell some really unique pieces when i did a google search i found some really unique pieces by him this next piece is a super great bread and butter piece abercrombie and fitch men's felix super slim stretch jeans size 31 by 32 these are a light wash distressed which people love again, right around $25. Abercrombie and Fitch has definitely made a comeback and something like jeans is a great staple to pick up for your store. This next piece is a super large, like really big, really big floral satin, not really satin scarf. Now I have sold this brand before. I'm trying to find it right here. The brand is Vera V A R A. And I, this is huge, but I love the floral print of this. This piece I will be listing for right around $25. And I love finding and listing scarves from the bins because first of all, scarves are so easy to list. Throw them on the floor, take a couple photos, measure it, good to go. Also, they're super lightweight. And like I said, at the bins, you pay by the pound. So the lighter the item, the cheaper it is. This next piece is a vintage University of Maryland crew neck sweatshirt. Now this does have a couple stains on it and it also has a hole right there in the sleeve, but I can still get a decent amount for this. This is only super old, like super vintage fruit of the loom tag made in the USA, adult size medium. So this piece I'll be listing for right around $29, I believe. I just love giving old pieces, new life. Again, with the vintage, 
This is a vintage men's Fair Isle sweater, wool blend. I believe it's a size large, yes. And the brand is Catamount Trail. When I did the comp on this, I was pleasantly surprised that these pieces are going for anywhere between $40 to $50. So I'm gonna list mine right around that $40 mark, if I remember correctly, maybe even closer to $45. And then we have a couple more pieces here in the Goodwill portion of this video. This piece I probably should have left behind. Definitely looks like an older piece, but it's hard to tell what the brand is. I think it is above, above A to Beyond, which does not make any sense to me. But when I looked it up, I found the exact piece. One was listed for 15, one was listed for 25. I'm gonna list mine right around that $22 mark super vintage kind of vibe though and there are graphics on both of the sleeves as well this next piece is a vintage probably from the 90s early 2000s philadelphia flyers t-shirt embroidered i just thought that looks so cool this is what the tag looks like there is no size on this the size has been worn out but if i had to guess about a men's 2xl there is a small bleach spot in the front there if you could see right there. But I will be listing that right around $20. And this is the last piece from the Goodwill Bins portion of this video. This piece I just thought was super unique, super kind of ethnic vibes, boho. This is a women's button up dress, shirt dress. The brand is Winter Sun, size medium. Yeah, I just love that print. This piece I will be listing for right around $35. And now we are going to open this mystery box, which I'm so excited about. So freaking excited. Thank you so much, Sherry. I don't even know what I did to deserve this, seriously. But I'm going to show my kids when they get home. My two-year-old, you know, he doesn't really know what's going on. But my six-year-old is going to be so excited to find out that somebody sent her clothing. So I did cut this open earlier, but I did not look in it. She has it wrapped so nice. Oh my gosh. I just, wow, I just can't even believe it. Oh, oh my gosh. So cute. Mr. Jasper is back here. He's wondering what the noise is all about. I'm in my daughter's room right now. I didn't even mention at the beginning of this, but I'm in my daughter's room right now because I'm not the only one home today. So I came in here so it's a little more quiet so that I don't bug my boyfriend, but let's get into it. I'm so excited. So the first piece I see, oh my goodness, this is so precious. Like if I found this at the bins or the thrift store, I would die. Oh my gosh. This is going to fit my son perfectly. This is a vintage Lacoste kind of quarter snap pullover. Now the tag says 4T. Vintage sizes obviously are usually smaller in today's sizes. Like this 4T is more of a 2T, which is what my son is. But this is Izod Lacoste. This is what the tag looks like. I, oh my gosh, I cannot wait for him to wear this. And I will make sure I send you pictures for real. Oh my gosh. Okay, so this is definitely for my daughter. This is so freaking adorable. Are you kidding me? And this is new with tags. I'm just in disbelief that like, I'm just in disbelief. And I just saw another item in there. I'm just, I don't know. I'm so grateful. I'm so thankful. And I'm just speechless, overwhelmed with happy emotions right now, honestly. So anyways, this is for my daughter. This is a little robe. And you don't even know she loves wearing robes. Seriously. So ties in the front. It has this plaid little collar. Like I said, it's new with tags. Are you freaking kidding me? <laughs> with the little frilly sleeves. Oh my goodness. This is so freaking cute. I am like dying. Oh my gosh. Okay. We're going to pull out the next thing that I saw, which like... Are you freaking kidding me? <laughs> this little faux leather. I'm assuming it's faux leather. Yes. Faux leather. Vintage. Chase. More of the Y2K tag. But Chase Authentics. So funny because today I actually shipped out a piece by this brand. It was a pair of Jeff Gordon 
like windbreaker pants. So ironic though that I got this and I just shipped out that piece today, but my son is going to rock this. Oh my gosh. <laughs> thank you so, so much. Like I don't even know how to thank you. And again, this next piece, my daughter is going to die. She's going to love this piece. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Are you kidding me right now? I, wow. I feel like I wanna just cry happy tears right now. Oh my God, I just realized there's a pair of pants. So this pair of pants matches the first thing that I showed you guys. So this is a matching set even better. I love matching sets, all oh my kids especially my two-year-old because I don't know something about just a little little tiny kid in a matching set in their little chunky legs oh my god so cute I cannot wait to put this on him are you kidding me I honestly want to cry right now <laughs> like I I'm so thankful so let's get back to this jacket because I did not show this enough this definitely looks like a high quality piece I've actually never heard of this brand, but the brand is, oh my God, I'm going to mess this up. Yeah, I don't know. Definitely in a different, definitely in a different language and I'm not going to try to say that, but look how beautiful this jacket is. All the floral detailing, my daughter is going to freak out. She's going to love this. Oh my gosh. I, I am so thankful. I am so thankful right now. Like I can't even... Today is the day after Christmas, like I said, but it literally feels like Christmas all over again. I am in disbelief. I don't even know the right words to say, but thank you so much, Miss Sherry. Seriously, thank you so much. I am so grateful that you were just found, I don't know, it's just, you know, there are good people left in this world and, you know... Thank you for reminding me that. Like, I, I didn't forget that. But just thank you for proving to me that, yes, this world has still has a lot of good in it. I try to be good for this world. And you just proved that. Like, you did this because you wanted to. You know, out of the kindness of your own heart. And I am so thankful. And I, can, I can't say thank you enough. So, thank you. Just thank you so, so much. So, when my kids get home today, because they're not home right now, when they get home... I'm going to show them these pieces and my daughter especially is just going to be like that is the coolest thing ever like somebody sent us pieces clothing somebody from an, a different state so we don't live in the same state so she's just gonna think that's so cool so anyways thank you again I cannot say thank you enough and honestly my daughter is gonna wear this probably tomorrow she's gonna want to wear that tomorrow and as far as my son goes I'm probably gonna put him in this tomorrow because I Okay, now that I'm done my little emotional um, bout there, I just can't get over it. I'm speechless. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. There was a lot of great pieces in this bins haul. A lot of great pieces in this mystery box. Still speechless. But I appreciate all of you for watching. I appreciate you, Miss Sherry, for sending this to me. And <sighs> thank you again. So... I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you have a great day or night whenever you're watching this and I hope to see you in my next video.